Today I'm recreating the run that inspired this channel. It wasn't a race, it wasn't an adventure, it wasn't even a challenge. It was a simple loop around my hometown three years ago. But since I live abroad, I rarely get to see the scenery of my childhood. And when I do, it's bound to bring back memories. To fully understand the story, I think you should know why I run in the first place. The main reason why has been perfectly phrased by comic artist The Oatmeal. The world around me is so very, very loud. I feed an army of pointless, bantering demons. But when I run, the world grows quiet. I run to seek a void. Or, as I like to put it, I run to find some mental downtime in our fast-paced world. At the time of this particular run, I had been binge-watching old Vlogbrothers videos and felt particularly inspired by their Thoughts from Places series, a format of travel vlogs with voiceover, often with a philosophical tone. And so it happened that in the blissful void of my mind, I started talking to myself, narrating my run as if doing a voiceover for a video. At some point in the run, I passed the house where my grandparents used to live. I don't remember if that was my intention or if I just went there because I knew the area well. Although much had changed in the years since my grandfather had passed away and the house had been sold. Where once stood the perfect shrubbery to play hide and seek in, now a wooden fence marks the edge between my memories and the daily life of a family I don't know. Time can change everything. But endings are nothing but beginnings seen from the other side of the fence. And metaphorical fences are surprisingly easy to jump. As I headed back, vague memories of countless childhood bike rides entered my mind. Spontaneously, I decided to turn off the main path and take a smaller trail through the forest. I remembered this way leads home, although I couldn't recall how exactly. The views along the way seemed unfamiliar, and the only times I wasn't wondering if things had changed was when I was sure that they had. But sure enough, the trail took me home. And with me, I brought the inspiration for a YouTube channel.